3 o'clock. 2, request permission to attack. 1, rejoin formation. Hello, and welcome to the SU-27 tanker attack mission. One of the critical aspects of flying missions in Lomac Flaming Cliffs is wingman management. You might have noticed that my trigger-happy wingman detected a spike and wanted to engage immediately. As I had no time to assess the situation, I made sure to keep him in formation by issuing the rejoin formation command. I think it is always a good idea to make sure that he complies by pressing the F5 key. Of course, presuming you have outside views enabled. The second thing I did was to descend gently right away. The idea is to bank at no more than 30 degrees as you will lose your Berioza radar warning system functionality otherwise. For a tutorial on using this vital instrument, check out the other air-to-air -air tutorials on www.flankertraining.com. When close to the ground, be aware that your indicated radar altitude is not reliable. This is because the device measuring altitude projects a beam straight below you. If you are banking, it will falsely indicate a higher altitude. This is generally not a problem, but when flying low, it can prove fatal. During the course of this mission, I will be sending my wingman back to waypoint number 2 repeatedly. There are two reasons for doing this. First, it will be crucial in making a dual-pronged attack on the target and its escorts. The idea will be for me to launch from there 6 o'clock, while the wingman will launch from 3 o'clock. The second reason is that I do not want him to do something silly, like turning his radar on while I am sneaking up on the target. For a more detailed explanation of how to keep your wingman out of trouble and alive, please check out the A-10 Campaign Mission 2 tutorial on www.flankertraining.com Most of my approach to the target will be done flying at a steady heading of around 180 and at about 10 meters radio altitude. The idea is to get outside the radar scan zone of the bogies. If done correctly, you will be on there 3 o'clock and at some point you will have a very good chance of flying the last 40 or so kilometers completely undetected in a gentle pursuit pattern. Your Berioza RWS will go silent. This is priceless in this particular mission. At no point will you be turning your radar on. The only sensor you will need is your EOS, which is activated by pressing the O key. Berioza has gone silent. Great! As you can see, we have a lock on target through the cloud layer. I wonder if the real EOS can do this at 40 kilometers. Recalling the wingman, he will be rejoining formation in pure pursuit mode. At this point, this is fine. As I keep closing in, I command my wingman to engage the targets. He will now fly away from me at an intercept course and target. Even if he were to turn his radar on, I will still remain invisible 
as I will be nowhere near him. One, music on. Two, music on. Telling the wingman to turn his ECM on further makes his presence known, while I will remain undetected. Remember to reset trim after disengaging the autopilot by pressing the control T keys. I will be launching the R-27 ET heat-seeking missiles. I often wish I could carry more of these as they do have some fire and forget capability. The idea will be to kill the tanker with the R-27 ETs and engage the escorts with the R-73. There goes the tanker in flames. Okay, the wingman has nabbed the other escort. Let's get the hell out of here. Full afterburners on. I will need to get under my S-300 umbrella as soon as possible, as I have absolutely no idea where the other F-16 flight is. This old man does not like heroics. Get things done and go home to mom. feeling macho, recalling him back into formation. He has no idea I just saved his life. He probably had a ship-based SAM and at least two fighters armed with active seekers waiting for him. The odds were simply not good enough. I am no longer tracked by the SAM as I exit its launch envelope. Definitely no need for afterburners. The mission is essentially done. While flying back to base, I can enjoy the clear night sky. There is also a tank view recording of this mission in the download package. 
If you don't have Tag View yet, I would recommend getting it. The link for the download is in the script SU27 tanker attack file. Okay, let's review. Stay low, try to approach target from there 3 o'clock, use very small heading changes, no radar, use EOS, keep your wingman back until you need him, use heat seeking missiles, no heroics either. Complete your task and get under your SAM umbrella as soon as possible. Come to think of it, you can navigate by the stars in this simulation. As our flight home is on a northbound course, we should have no problems in finding the North Star. Also, we should have no problem finding the Big Bear. If this topic is of interest to you, try searching for the Little Bear. In the download package, I have enclosed a few pictures of these constellations and stars, so that you can follow this stargazing more easily. North Star Big Bear And that concludes this training flight. Thank you. You have control.